No. And I love Chicago. Yeah, it's also amazing. a very, very big Chicago fan. Yeah. Yeah. I shot my, like my first big job was in Chicago. I spent four or five months here. So. Yeah. 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 But the first time I came here, it was winter, and it really reminded me of home. Uh, that's Scotland, by the way, in case you didn't. Uh, I'm Scottish. I don't know if you know, noticed the last name. Yes, I do. Tula. Yes, Tula. Tula. Uh, yeah, I made the point to say the that Orkney the... Islands and Renfrew oh. and Paisley. Paisley. No wow. way. I heard a gasp over here. So <laughs> from there, like, who else was from there? <laughs> Anyone else got some kind of Scottish ancestry? Yeah, that's it. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, it's lovely to meet you both. I mean, I wanted to ask you, what kind of, what is it that keeps you coming back to events like this? We don't really get a chance to meet fans that much in our day-to-day -day life, you know, because it's like we work a lot. And yeah, of course, if you're, you know, we film in Vancouver, you're wandering around Vancouver, someone will come say hi. But this is the only time you really get to make uh, a lot of FaceTime. And, What's your name? Where are you from? What are you going through right now? And um, the storyline on um, the show that is not to be named right now, that was uh, very emotional. Say, I was like, that lasted Let's just call it Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort, I said. <laughs> so people have a, an emotional connection with this, the Voldemort storyline. Um, and I, I wouldn't know that otherwise. I mean, I try to I try to check social media and stuff, but it's different actually meeting someone face to face. I just left a, met a lovely man named Henry who started crying, and, and I was like, God, am I black? I have a panel. Don't make me cry. Um, but it's funny at San Diego Comic Con, which I did every year for Grimm, they, they except for the very first year. The first year we premiered there, so they showed the pilot episode months before we actually premiered. So they showed it, it was July 12, 2011. They showed the pilot, but we didn't actually even premiere until October of that year, so nobody knew who we were. And we, 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 we were just wandering around Comic Con, and nobody was like, by the next year, because season one had aired and it was, it was such a hit. We had like, I, you know, I had a security guard and I was just getting ushered from event to event and I was like, oh, it was more fun last year. <laughs> when I could actually like be out with people and, and um, wander around and um, so this, and e so at San Diego Comic Con, same thing, you don't really get to meet fans. So th these are the kinds of events where you can actually interact with people. Do you have any like favorite or memorable fan experiences or stories that someone has told you that really touched you or, or Remember particularly? Um, yeah, I mean, ones that are probably like too personal to like share, share like specifics on, but I think just the fact that you're involved with something or a project that means that much to somebody uh, and that they can connect to or either go through it with characters so they feel like they're not alone, uh, I think those are like always the most important and special things. Because I, 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 I love TV, I love film, I also have like huge love for sports, and I think for a lot of people, like. The way that I feel about certain like sports and storylines that go on with you know because that's essentially what it is. Like, I always explain that people don't really get the big deal about sports. It's the same thing. It's like the storylines. You're rooting for people. You're kind of like you know hoping someone can overcome something. And so, um, in the same way, I have such an attachment to that. It's amazing to feel like you are part of something that someone else can attach themselves to and go through it and uh, have that kind of an experience. So that's always really special. Anytime somebody says you know something was really personal to them and. It helped them feel like they weren't alone and kind of helped them understand something. Like, I think that's really special. Must make the job really feel worthwhile when you hear like that. Because I guess, you know, you're stuck in a studio all day or on location, but that this is like the live realization of what's actually going on, which is lovely. Um, but yeah, I wanted to ask because we're at Comic Con, um, were you a nerd for anything? Or a nerd? Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to translate myself. <laughs> nerd. Were you a nerd for anything uh, growing up? Um, anything that particular TV show, a film, a genre? I mean, I liked Barbie. I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, I used to, and I had G.I. Joe's too, and they would have sexual relations. <laughs> Um, my nerding out was 
was sports. I gotta be honest. I had like a, stacks and stacks and stacks of baseball cards. Um, watched like every game on TV when I wasn't in practice. Uh, and then I started working when I was a kid. I think my first job I was nine. So those are kind of like. I, I, I believe you were eight. I was eight when I started. My first job I was nine. Keep up. Whatever. <laughs> So I wanted to ask about, uh, you know, because I know you're really into sports, but you, Tyler, you also started auditioning and things as a kid as well, is that correct? What was it like as a, as a really young boy going into auditions? Was that daunting? Because it's quite a big thing for a kid. Um, or were you quite brave? Were you like, oh, No, whatever. weirdly, I think it's one of those no, things. No, he's not brave. <laughs> Just stupid. That's the same thing. Uh, no, I, I think that young, um, if it's, if it's, a, you know, if you're getting into this kind of a business or this kind of a thing, I think you have enough of a personality that doesn't become too shy that you also don't know enough to be nervous yet. I think that actually comes later. Like, I feel like auditioning, the most difficult auditioning was probably like in my early, like maybe late teens and early twenties. Cause I think that's when you're kind of like really feeling like you want to like either impress or like you feel like you need to do something. And, uh, I think when you're younger, you haven't really had any of those thoughts or you haven't like had those certain insecurities kind of creep in yet. Um, so it was kind of like blissfully ignorant. So I think even like- um, and, re and remains so. It's, it's, it's lovely, it really is. You should, you should try it sometime. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think there's like, there's periods of that um, that I think you go through. And for me, that was like my, yeah, like late teens, early twenties. But now how do you, I mean, we're all human, right? So. I still feel nervous even though you know you do your job over and over and over again. Do you still feel nerves at times and think, oh my god, what am I doing? This is weird. I'm nervous right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're people. I still get nervous. I, I haven't auditioned in person in a while, both because of COVID and I've also been lucky enough to be on a show, so there's there's not a lot I could do. Um, but I used to when when you we would basically as 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 TV actors, you would basically do a screen test in front of all of the network executives. And sometimes there were 50 people in the room, sometimes more. Um, I, I booked a big HBO pilot and there was a massive auditorium at HBO and like Sarah Jessica Parker was there and I was I was like, I'm going to boot myself right now. Um, I booked it and I didn't boot myself. But um, yeah, really nerve wracking situations. That day, settle yeah. down, <laughs> just that day. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's like, I still get nervous for sure. Yeah, how do you how do you guys get over that? Or is there something that you do before you walk on a stage? I, I sort of like center myself and almost take myself out of my body. It's almost like I'm watching. No, myself. I was in the back like, where's food? Oh, is that me? Oh, oh, what? Pelle Pellegrino, oh, the, the microphone. And no, there was nothing I was doing to prepare myself to. Well, I also thought we had more time. And then I, someone was like, they said your name. And I'm like, they said my name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Like, and then say, then say you're staring at a ball going, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> everything's good, everything's fine. Um, but when you were kids, um, if you had a chance to come to Comic Con, or if you did go to Comic Con, who would you have loved to have met? Like somebody from like television or movies? she <gasps> uh, Yes. Were you really into she -Ra? I prefer He-Man, I have to say. I mean, she was very cool, but... I did like He Man. Yeah. It was it was the ridiculous hair and the almost nothing outfit. Yeah. I, thought, I thought it was amazing. What about you? Um, like when I was like a, a little little guy, uh, I was really into the Power Rangers. Uh, yeah. And we actually had uh, Amy Jo Johnson uh, directed one of our. Uh, I worked with Jamie Jo Johnson on something one time. Um, Jamie Jo. Amy Jo. She's trying to not say other names, and so I'm confusing everything. Amy Jo Johnson, uh, who was great. Uh, so that was really fun, but like that was a that was a big one. Um, I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan. I've not seen the movie yet, though. I've hey, not hey, seen it. So. What about? Huh? Uh, it's too close to our stuff. Oh. Can't say that right now. <laughs> Keep it strong. I'm it trying to be good. I'm trying to be good. There are really rules. Good. There are rules, and I'm respecting them. You guys are doing really well. Okay. So all far. good. All good. Um, you mentioned you can't really. I guess you can't really walk around a convention floor anymore. But have you ever sort of donned a mask and just gone for a little wander? No, um, I did. I was at a, a, a Comic Con in uh, Australia once, and it was either the night, I think it might have been like the night before they were setting up, or it was like after the last day and everything. It was kind of like they were just like taking everything down. 
Then we just walked the whole floor. And it was Wait, super Wasn't cool. that like two weeks ago? No, no, this was like a couple years ago. And um, But it was really cool just to see like, like Artist Alley and all the different like vendors and stuff and those things that they make and create. There's this really cool guy, um, uh, Jack of the Dust. I think that's still his page, I'm not sure. Um, but he did these really cool like skulls that he had then done with all these different characters. Like one was like Iron Man, one was Batman, one was Joker. Um, all these like really cool like little school things. I love those, so I got a, a couple of those. But it was just, yeah, it's great to see all like the creative stuff that people do. Are you allowed to say all the things you just said? I am, because they're just the characters and We should just sit in the panel and just stare at each other and like just like try and transmit thoughts. Yeah, exactly. So you know, it's exactly. just like staring really creepily at people. Like, you got me, you got me. Um, what about collectibles and things like that when you were growing up? Because there's so many things. I can't walk around the floor. Also, I can't fit anything in my case. I'm gonna go back to London and not be fighting the million pounds. Um, but is there anything that you collected when you were younger? Particularly, I used to collect trolls, Pennies. Thundercats. Yeah. Uh, monsters in your pocket. Anybody have those? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I saw many of those. Yeah. Good. Those. There was a video game for that too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there was uh, there was that. Um, I'm actively trying to find my Pokemon cards. I like, don't know where they are. Um, so anybody here who collects them, you know how painful this must be for me. Yeah. Can't find them anywhere. I had like a complete original deck, and then uh, like I'm pretty sure almost like a complete fossil deck with all of them. Um, yeah, Maybe I can't Tanner find them anywhere. No, because he's searching with me to find his. <laughs> me, and, searching. me and my brother are both trying to find he's our He's searching our cards. so hard. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, he wants out. He wants out. I always, uh, I, I ask this because some people don't really get into collecting things, but I'm a hoarder. Um, and I'm moving to LA soon, and I've been looking through, I had to sell half my comic collection, which is painful, man, it's painful. And a lot of my toys, but a lot of the things you look at, you go, what is this? Why did I keep this random thing? Are you hoarders? I am an anti-hoarder, I really am. I routinely okay. go through, if I get new clothes, I pretty much have a rule, like as many new items as I just got, I give away. And my daughter is kind of like, what? where's that one? And I'm like, sorry, you just, I, what I've actually said now, sorry. I include her. No, I include her, but like if she, if we're in a store and she's like, oh, I want that like Squishmallow. I'm like, okay, you can get that Squishmallow if you give away two toys when we get home. Because she has too much stuff. Wait, hey, she's got stricter rules than you? You get one for one and she gets two for one? Yeah. She's got more stuff than I do. Somehow children just accumulate crap. Um, but so that's the new rule, and, um, and, she, and it's an agreement, and then we get home, and she goes through, and she's like, eh, yeah, I don't use that anymore, and we, we give away two things, and then she gets one new one. So I'm not a hoarder at all. Betsy, I need you to come back to London with me and manage my move, okay. because uh, I'm struggling here. <laughs> I'm really, really struggling. I'm like somewhere in the middle, so I, I get it. I, I, I understand. You hoarder than source of. I like to I like to hold on to as much as I can. I get it from my dad. My dad likes to hold on to everything. It's um, but I've gotten better. At the, like if I don't have like a specific place, like, if I can't remember where I put something, if I just like come across it the next time, I'm like okay, it's gotta go. Like I didn't I didn't know that it was there, so I'm obviously never. Unless gonna it's a Pokemon collection. Unless it's a Pokemon. Why do you gotta rub that in right now? I just told you this is a sensitive topic. <laughs> Trying to hurt me. I like your body like. You you got being triggered there, like, oh god, no, I can't, oh no. Um, I wanted to talk about, uh, about you guys working together. You know, I'm, I'm always interested when actors have to work closely together on projects. Of course, you know, you read together, you meet before and everything, but no, we didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, we actually didn't. We got, and, I, and uh, we were cast separately, and he had been doing this role uh, a year before me, a year or two before me, and then I got the role totally separately, and the day I, I went to, to play the role for the first time, I was praying that he was good. <laughs> and also like decent and kind. And some prayers don't come true, you know, that's <laughs> like, that's how it goes. And I was just sorely disappointed. No, I was so happy, because the chemistry was so great um, on screen and off screen, we get along so, so well. Like we have too much fun, but we had never met. Oh, Cause I was yeah. gonna ask you, how do you then, if you've never met, do you make a point of bonding off set, going, hey, let's go for dinner, and let's do these things, like? We didn't really have to, I mean, um, we hung out like a couple times, but nothing yeah. really crazy, and then also, yeah. you know, I also was pregnant at the time, um, and I was not, probably not like feeling great, like I was working hard, and then I was, would go home and sleep. 
Yes. Yeah. And then and then when we started doing our own thing, uh, it was uh, during COVID. Yeah. Uh, so everything was like shut down. So there weren't really any more, there wasn't anywhere to really go. Yeah. Anything. We well, we, really... yeah, we would hang out. We had little pods of cast that were working a lot together. And then we were like, okay, well, it's safe for us to hang out offset together because I worked with you all day. Um, it was a crazy time. Yeah. I'm always quite interested in what kind of things makes, like, you know, when you kind of act as like corpse on set and you can't stop laughing, you know, kind of like you're at school and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And you can't, right? who is the one that's notorious for making everyone laugh and bringing it to that point where you can't bring it back? We don't really get to the point of like, can't bring it back. That doesn't happen very often. Um, I, I do get the giggles. She gets the giggles, but I will say that she usually causes all of it too, though. <laughs> <laughs> Something has usually happened via Bitsy that we all enjoy and, and laugh at, and then Bitsy is the yeah. one that ends up giggling at it the most. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like this weird cycle thing that goes. I love that. Um, now, we're going to play a wee game. Okay. It's called This or That. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a couple of choices. Okay. And uh, don't think about it, okay? okay? No thinking, okay? And no helping or shouting. Okay, so I'm very strict. I'm a very strict game. Am, am I answering for me or am I answering for him? I'll wait to answer for yourselves. Okay. Okay, so, okay. Let's see. Hot or cold weather? Cold. Hot. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, whilst sleeping, Tyler, fan or no fan? Is it hot? Not only do I have a fan, I have uh, two white noise machines, an air purifier, earplugs, and often my iPad going, which has a white noise app. So it sounds like an airplane hanger in my room, and I can't sleep. I won't have it any other way. I love yeah. that. Oh my god. Very, yeah. Are you quite. Uh, are you when because when I sleep I'm boiling, it doesn't matter if it's the depths of winter or super yeah. super warm. Are you quite a warm or a cold body sort of person? Warm. You warm when you say all the top. Yeah, I feel like I probably run a little chilly. Yeah, I I gotta like stick the feet out the yeah. bed and like thank god it's just me and my cat and the scented candles. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to midlife crisis. <laughs> um, uh, shower or bath? Shower or bath. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay, this is very good. This is I've the most- time. I almost have time for that. This is the most important one, and I shall be judging you both on this one. Okay. But I think I know what your answer might be. Okay. Scotland or England? <laughs> I have never been to Scotland. Oh. I lived in Europe when I was younger. I was in Ireland last summer, and and I can't remember why we didn't do Scotland. So we were doing uh, a con in Manchester and Wales, and there was a week off, and it was like either, is it Edinburgh? It's Edinburgh. Edinburgh or um, Dublin, and I think the flights to Dublin were easier. Um, so I, I, I just, I plead the fifth. <sighs> I, also have, I also have friends from both. I refuse to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and I like you said Edinburgh. Yeah. All my American friends were like, Edinburgh. Sorry, that was terrible, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I that's do apologize. That's a, that's a beautiful place, though. I that's one of my favorite places I've been. Oh, Edinburgh. Yes. Edinburgh is wonderful. I highly recommend my hometown of Glasgow. Uh, also okay. been there. Have yeah, you? Yes. 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 yes, I know. It's yeah. so, so great. Um, okay, peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? Crunchy. Smooth. <laughs> that's right. I'm, I'm wrong. A, I'm just going to say you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Memes or GIFs or GIFs? Um, memes. You like GIFs. Sending or receiving? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting technical here, but there's a big No, thing. no technicalities. Uh, no, I can answer this for him. He sends me more GIFs than memes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> GIFs. Okay, next question is it GIFs or GIFs? I, I yeah. always ask, but every time I ask, they say GIFs. Yeah. yeah. Right. You guys, it's GIFs, right? Yeah. 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 Some website, some website. Bloody website said GIFs and now I'm paranoid and like, am I saying it right? Am I down with the kids? I don't know. Um, I actually find myself answering most things now in GIFs. Yeah. So that's the they way. They are fun. They are fun. Yeah. I, I hate to admit it, but they are fun. Yeah, they are. And if we don't have to use words, that's good. Um, okay, running super fast, like super fast or flying? Flying. Okay, being invisible or reading minds? Being invisible. 
Ugh, I would hate being a mind reader. Um, I don't know that I'd like being invisible either. So neither. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you could read each other's minds, what do you think you'd be fighting? Oh, over? I don't want that. <laughs> Actually, the great thing about Vinci, you don't have to read her mind. She says everything she thinks. There, there's nothing that's censored. It's just, you get it all. Very blunt. I love and that. also, I just like don't really think before I speak. There's nothing wrong with that at all. At least you know where you stand. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. I'm too old for TikTok. Instagram or TikTok? Begrudgingly, you guys won't know. Instagram. Okay, Instagram. I wanted to ask, because this I did one TikTok post. One. And then I was like, I, I think I only have one too. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I actually don't, I don't, I don't know too. I, I'm out of here. I'm out. I quit. I quit. Yeah. It's too much. <laughs> it's kind of like that Homer uh, gift, kind of going back into the bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like the John Travolta one. That's kind of how I feel. Mostly. I was really excited. I was really proud of like the first one. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm like, I'm gonna commit to this one. And then I was like, No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> so let me ask this as as an addendum to this question. What does your Instagram algorithm look like? The reels. So I always. I don't think I've ever done a reel, actually. Oh really? Yeah. So you don't look at reels and go down the scroll hole. I know I do other people's, but I have never made one myself. Ah, uh, no. I was wondering what what you watch. Oh oh oh, oh um, like funny like animals and um, funny children and um, just goofy, like people falling down. And they, don't, they don't hurt themselves that badly, but it always does make you laugh. <laughs> I love it. What yeah. about you, Tyler? What's, on your, uh, what's your algorithm showing you? Does it know you? Some of that, some of that as well. And then like sports, love sports highlights. Uh, yeah, I have no sports. No, yeah. you will not find that on me. Yeah. Infinitely, guys, mine is all manifestation or podcast bros telling me why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, just. Freaking great. Um, okay, so back to this or that. Traveling all the time or staying close to home? If you had a choice, obviously your job. Traveling all the time. I, I mean, I, I have a kid, so I would say staying close to home. Yeah. If, let's stay on the travel tip, though. Are there any places in the world that you really want to see that you'd be desperate to go to? Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> great answer. Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> and Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if you noticed this, but like that was technically not a this or that question, but that was the fastest she answered any of the questions in a this or that format. Thank you. <laughs> that was Thank you. Uh, I got yeah. I feel like the more I travel, like the longer the list gets, just because you you meet people that recommend three new places to go, um, things like that. Uh, I will say I was really lucky this year. Um, it's a trip I've been wanting to go on for like ten years that I actually had to take my parents to. Uh, I went to Machu Picchu in Peru, so that was like, yeah, it was, it was epic, it was so amazing. Um, very grateful for the fact that they could come along, and so we did like the four day trail hike to the ruins, and it was really incredible. So like, that was like the one, that I, that was my one that I've been looking forward to for a long time, so um, now it's kind of like back to just like, I haven't never been to Asia, um, plenty of places in South America still wanna go to, like I, I got the travel bug pretty bad, and so it's just, it's been like a very eye-opening thing. I love meeting people from different places and hearing how they grew up differently, how they see the world differently. It's just a very enriching thing to be able to do, so very lucky to get to do that. Same. I always find this in this, like, I like being at home. Being at home is fun. When you've got your wee one at home as well, but do you still find, though, that, say, when you're out and about, I find that when I'm out, I'm like, oh, I love this. I want to do more and more and oh, more. Yeah. I mean, even last night, I, I was out with Tyler and, and Danielle Panabaker, who's a dear, dear friend of mine, and Tom Cavanaugh and Carlos and a couple other people who were, who were guests here. And boy, did I drink a lot of white wine. <laughs> <laughs> just, it, it just kept showing up. Are you and I kept okay? drinking them. Are you feeling okay today? But no, I'm hungover. <laughs> So then I, I'm like, okay, well, because I just ate that many carbs, now I can just drink whatever I want. <laughs> science. Yeah. It's, it's actual science. Yeah. Sci it's science, you guys. It's not science. It's, just, it's not science. <laughs> um, okay, would you rather receive an email, a lovely email, or a lovely letter? Um, I guess a letter would be nice. Yeah. When's the last time you got like epistolary relationships? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you have a pen pal at school? Uh, yeah, I totally did. I actually still write um, handwrite thank you notes. 
Do you? I do. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Oh, what about you, Tyler? Would you rather? Yeah, see I think one? handwritten. Um, I think same thing for like thank you notes and things like that. It's always nice to be able to do that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think the last stuff. Yeah, I think a, a handwritten note is there's something very sweet about like the time and care that it takes to to go into that. Yeah, you you gave me a handwritten note for my birthday that I kept because it was a very funny looking uh, animal on the front and it made me laugh and I was like I'm gonna keep this because it makes me laugh. <laughs> I don't think we write enough letters. Oh, well, letter, you guys. Um, okay, uh, chips and dip or chips and salsa? Chips and salsa. Is the dip See, I don't like cilantro. <laughs> so that's you, a tough one for me. You don't like your technicalities. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if it's guacamole, it's yeah, chips and guacamole. Guac. It's guac. Oh, the chips and dip. Okay. No. Dip, uh, dip if it's cilantro free. <laughs> I do not like cilantro. Uh, does it taste like detergent? I would too? rather eat so. Yes. <laughs> It's disgusting. It's disgusting. That, so good. No, it's not. What? Yeah. Can we have a yay for the cilantro fans? Yeah. How about for the ones who hate it? on Facebook and it's the I hate cilantro club. <laughs> it's one group or you're the one member? <laughs> what? Made it sound like you were the only member of the group. No, she's the admin. Am I wrong? Did she not make it sound like that? A little bit? Um, okay, cats or dogs? Very important. Dogs. Uh, dogs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I do love hate, but I do love cats. Yeah, yeah. the dog fans are... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> One for the rest of your life. I, uh, I mean, uh, rock. Rock. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay, Tyler, what for you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, pop, I guess. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Do you remember what your first CD was or vinyl? Steve I Miller do. Band, Greatest Hits. Wait, what was yours? Steve Miller Band, Greatest Hits. Um, uh, um, Stevie Wonder songs in the key of life. Wow, excellent. Yeah, okay. Maybe rubbish. I'm not even going to say. Um, okay, comedy or horror? Comedy. Really, oh, I can't handle horror. I get too scared. So, Do comedy. Yeah. Okay, what's the scariest film you've ever seen? I don't know if I think The Exorcist. Yeah. No, I haven't I was, seen it. I, I was not answering for me. I, oh. I was 11 years I was 10 years old. I was 10 years old. We were at a friend's birthday party, and his mom decided to do a scary movie theme. And so, I'm the oldest person at the party. Let me remind you, I said I was 10. He was turning nine. Everybody else was like nine, eight, seven. Uh, she rented The Exorcist and The Shining. That's heavy duty for a 10. And the only reason we watched The Exorcist was because we started with The Shining and it was back when you rented tapes. Um, and she rented the making of The Shining. So a few minutes in, there's like this documentary and she's like, oh, we'll switch it out, we'll watch The Exorcist instead ruined things for me for a very long time. Uh, my brother slept on the floor of my room for like five years after that. <laughs> no joke. We actually just like slept on the floor of my room. We put on like Friends or some other movie to go to bed to like every night. It was just like, as soon as the lights went out, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> yeah, that movie was gnarly for, for a 10 year old. Yeah. Well, that's the end of this and that, but I've got one last weird question to ask you, which I asked Gabriel Luna yesterday. And he looked at me and went, you're weird. And I was like, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Um, okay, are eyebrows facial hair? <laughs> I mean, it's hair on your face. No. You gotta explain if you say yes or no. So, what, you said no straight away, Tyler. You yes. gotta back up your answer. Um, <laughs> give your answer. I'm, I'm thinking of how to explain my rationale. Okay, here. okay. Let's get his eyebrows. What they about look them? like a little tiny beard <laughs> above his eyes. So if we're gonna call a beard facial hair, and he just has little beards up here, like a little goatee and another little goatee. Facial hair. <laughs> but see, I think you've just become my favorite person ever. <laughs> 
Guys, uh, you heard it here first. Uh, Bitsy declaring that um, eyebrows um, are indeed uh, uh, beards for the eyes. <laughs> beards for the eyes. Look at a little mustache. He's got two mustaches above okay, his okay, eyes. Okay, okay, so okay. So put it this okay. way. Cancer that. If you like, if you had to go to like a doctor's appointment and said, "Hey, just so you know, like you can't eat or drink anything uh, before you come in. You can't intake anything." I'm like, okay, great. So if you come in and they say, well, did, you, did you intake anything today? And you said, no. They said, well, did you breathe any air? Did you breathe any oxygen in? Like, well, yeah, but I didn't think, like, I thought that kind of goes without saying. I'm like, obviously. I feel like the same thing with eyebrows. It's like, did you have facial hair? No, what about your eyebrows? Oh, I didn't, okay. I didn't thought that went without saying. Don't, don't pretend like that makes sense. <laughs> did it not? Did it not? Thank you. You have to say that. I love the intensity of Tyler's ex. He's like, you know what? And he, the way he starts it, I was like... I feel like it makes sense. It just kind of goes without saying. I like Betsy's answer. <laughs> Betsy wins. Guys, I, for, please cheer if you think that eyebrows are um, facial hair. Um, yeah. Woo! Yes! Mustaches above the eyes! Yes! <laughs> You're trying so hard. It's so nice. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, guys, uh, this has been ridiculous. I love it. Um, I love when panels go a little bit chaotic. Yeah, yes. um, you guys are absolutely fantastic. Before we leave you, please, uh, what do you want to say to these lovely, this lovely look here? I just want to say um, we are sorry that because of uh, because of the ongoing situation, we're not supposed to answer very specific questions about um, roles or shows or anything like that. And so I know that they sort of took away the Q and A, which is. Sure, really enjoyable. Um, and thank you for being here. We support you guys. Thank you. Yeah. That's right. Um, I just want to know what everybody thinks of Pitsy's facial hair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's wonderful. I love, it. I love uh, no, my facial hair. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I know it is a weird weekend with, as far as like, the comic cons are concerned, but uh, I'm glad that you guys still came. I'm glad that we could still be You're just here repeating everything and not I have said. to come out. Yeah, but I'm saying it better. So. Something uh, <laughs> uh, no, thank you guys for coming out. It's always good to see you. It's good to be back in Chicago. Uh, always love it out here. So I see you waving in the back. There you go. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hope it's been a good weekend for you guys. Guys, please make a huge noise for Bitsy and Tom.